beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Holy, holy, holy Holy, 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 holy Holy, holy, holy Holy, holy, holy Holy, holy, holy The latest in the series of the pursuit right now is searching for the vessels that carry the anointing. I mean, once you are anointed, you are in trouble. Everywhere people see you, whether in the market, somewhere, I mean, there are all kinds of skills that are employed from those who fly and hold your leg and say, kill me, but let the anointing drop to those who will drop a seed, those who will use handkerchiefs to clean your shoes. Now, I'm not, I'm not against... Um, the expressions of their passion but i'm saying that people are desperate for the power of god and the glory of god but it looks like god is mising the power it looks like there are people who are saying lord empower me i mean give me this miracle working power this ability and 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 all of that i know so many pastors so many ministers who cry for the grace and the glory of God upon their lives they want his presence to be experienced in their meetings this that I'm about to teach you the Lord taught me 10 years ago as the secret of his sustaining presence and power upon the life of a man the Lord told me to do this and his presence and his power will remain upon my life and by the grace of God I have followed this thoroughly I have struggled to teach what I'm teaching you people this night because I've taught us that it is wasteful to supply information to people who are not spiritually prepared to receive hallelujah while I saw the gentleman who came and said they came all the way from Niger state and the ones from Makodi I am very humbled to see what God is doing through these messages within this country and in various parts of the world. But there is a secret to it. This is what I want us to understand. There is nothing that is happening that is a mistake. There's nothing that is happening that is haphazard. And if you will pay attention to what I'm teaching you, please, even those who are working, workers and all of that, do your work, but please pay attention to what I'm teaching you. Hallelujah. So why is the power of God absent? Why is it that 
God seems to be limited to do business with many people. It looks like, it's, it, it seems like one out of every 1,000 or 10,000 are the ones who are really mightily used by God. I used to think that it was because others were carrying out less or more spiritual exercises. But as I've grown in the things of the spirit, I found out that that's not exactly the reason. Ready for it? Reason number one. Reason number one. I, I, I consider this I consider this to be the fundamental determinant of the entrance of the anointing and the power of God in the life of a man your motif and your motivation your motif and your motivation let me tell you something I have found out over the years that the state of your heart is the greatest determinant of the power and the glory of God upon your life. Beyond your fasting, beyond your prayer, beyond night vigils, beyond listening to messages, as important as those things are, the state of your heart overrides them all if you want God to do business with you. Now, so many people, well-meaning people, who want to see the miraculous power of God they want to be mightily used by God lack this one thing the motif and the motivation behind their pursuit is corrupted from beginning so every activity they carry out is corrupted on the strength of that foundational thing are we together from those who seek God because they want to build a career around ministry those who have applied for jobs and it looks like jobs are not forthcoming and they console themselves by saying let's go to the vineyard and use ministry to build a career corrupted motives are we together to those who desire the anointing to show their family members that they are not failures you were growing up and they told you that you will be a failure in life and now you're saying, Lord, give me the anointing to show my mother or my stepmother that I'm not a failure. As well-meaning as that motif is, it is corrupted. Are we together now? That's the reason why you find certain people, they seem not to be engaging in as much spiritual activity in terms of physical exertion fasting prayer but it seems like god has so much interest in them he will go beyond their personal spiritual lives to demonstrate his glory upon their life motif your motivation i can tell you this and i tell you sincerely eight or nine out of every ten pastors and men of god that call me send me text messages sow seeds and are desperately looking for anointing and grace most of them their motives are corrupted are we together so i can go for 40 days fasting but god looks beyond the physical activity and he scans and judges my motive this for me has been the ultimate determinant of the kinds of people that God does business with and that he will do business with in these days. Is God speaking to us? The state of your heart. Let's look at a few scriptures. John chapter 12. Oh come, oh come Emmanuel And ransom captive Israel. Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel. 
and ransom captives, right? Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel has come to us, he's Israel. John chapter 12, it says, And Jesus, six days before the Passover, came to Bethany, where Lazarus, who had been dead, who was raised from the dead. And the Bible says, There they made unto him supper, and Martha served. Follow carefully. But Lazarus was one of them that sat at table. Now let's watch something that happened. And then Mary took a pound of ointment and anointed the feet. The Bible says, Okay, took a pound of ointment, of spikenard, pure nard, very costly take note very costly then the bible says that she anointed the feet of jesus and wiped his feet with her hair are we together and the house was filled with the odor of the ointment and then something happened verse 4 and then one of his disciples a man called judas iscariot simon's son which should betray him he responded to that act of worship verse 5 why was not this ointment sold for 300 pence and given to the poor now watch this this is part of jesus's ministerial cabinet a woman comes and takes from her alabaster box according to one of the gospels and breaks it before his feet pure nerd the bible tells us it was her wages for one year and she took it and broke it at his feet and used her hair that is the glory of a woman to wipe his feet and then when other people when jesus was looking at the motivation of this woman the sincere communication of her appreciation someone else was looking at the cost implication and the wastage are we together but he never said you wasted this he tried to angle it in a way that should look like he was concerned about the treasury of the house are we together and this is what he said verse 5 please let's go back to verse 5 why was not this ointment sold so for him you can still worship jesus another way go and sell it bring the money let's add to the treasury but his motif was so that he would have more money to be stealing are we together it was never about jesus it was never about his desire to see his master exalted are we together now judas had no business listen although he was a sincere person he wanted to use jesus the moment he came and found out that there was a flourishing ministry he looked at it carefully and saw the financial potentials that were in that ministry and he strategically positioned himself being elected the treasurer he found out that he could keep motivating people and the more they brought money to the ministry he would help himself so you would see judas at every crusade you would see judas attending to the poor collecting all the seeds to jesus you would look from that experience and say what a zealous man the first to appear in every crusade ground the one to respond to the necessity of jesus but the motive behind it was his belly are we together the next verse verse 6 this he said not that he what cared for the poor the bible says but because he was a that was his mo- the motive he was looking for more money so he could steal so he angled it in a way that made it look like he was having an appetite for god the bible says and he had the back and bear what was put therein in other words if they changed judas from being a treasurer to an ordinary disciple and made thomas or peter 
the new treasurer all of a sudden he would not care about any sacrifice again are we together this is an example of the motive and the motivation behind so many people you would see them pray for the anointing as if they really love sick people you would see them pray for prosperity as though they really really want to help and bless people you would see them fast as they they pray for crowds and you would think they are really compassionate you would think they care so much about the people coming but at the heart of their pursuit is this self-centered demonic and many times satanic motivation are we together now how many men of god use the anointing use members use so many people to boost their ego and when they go around you see pastors gather to talk and you'll be amazed at the content of their discussion have you seen my members have you seen the jeep that this one bought for me there are 20 oil company workers in my church there are senators in my church there are this and that and that i mean we grew from 5000 to 20000 in one year great news but then what is the motivation behind it and so we use those things to scorn others we use those things to command honor when pastors come together the ones who seem to be having results or desirous of results seem to push others and sit in a position of honor that is not given by god motif motivation judas was doing what physically would have been a wise suggestion i can understand his passion because he was in the finance department are we together and so from financially speaking it would have been a still a worthy way of worship to sell it and bring the money and then the money be given to the poor but the problem was the motivation behind that statement not necessarily what he said the motivation behind it was wrong brothers and sisters you can fast all you can you can pray all you can you can carry bottles of anointing oil carry handkerchiefs and mantles go and fly on the man of god's bed and roll there from night till morning when this adjustment of the state of your heart is not in place forget about god doing business with you especially in this end time are we together proverbs chapter 16 verse 2 solomon who was a wise man said something that is very interesting proverbs chapter 16 verse 2 is projected he said all the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes but the lord weighed the spirit can we have any other version just any other available one that renders something differently the lord tests the motives he judges the content the motivation he says all the ways of a man are pure in his own eyes but the lord weighs the spirit the thoughts and the intents of the heart in other words if i get up right now and i tell this lady to stand up and i lay hands on her and she falls under the anointing while you are clapping and say man this guy is anointed god is not impressed with that experience until he scans the motive behind it if the motive behind it was to prove a point to a few people that the anointing is still alive that experience has been corrupted as far as god's standard is concerned are we together you can raise 10 people from wheelchair and in heaven you raise only one from the second to the last the motif cancelled it by zero are we together now look when you understand this you will focus more on motive than physical experiences because it's difficult for men to discern because men judge by the outward appearance how many pastors frustrate themselves how many people frustrate themselves they think they want power they think they want grace but god has already seen the true content of their hearts you will think when they are anointed 
they will spend their lives serving God. You will think when they are anointed, they spend their lives. Listen, I go for meetings and thank God for the honor here and there. Different people have their ways of responding. And while I step into the meetings to sit down, I see all kinds of admiration. You see a lot of young people bouncing on the floor, happy and just wishing and say, Oh God, give me what you have given this person. And I can sense in my spirit the field of their motives. They want to be celebrities. And since they cannot run like Usain Bolt, since they cannot play tennis like the Williams, they feel ministry is a cheaper route to achieve the same thing. And God says, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Anna wanted a child. I've taught us. She wanted a child so desperately. But her motive was to prove to Penina that she also had a womb. And she kept going to Shiloh to pray and God never had it. Listen, this is very scary. A woman who wanted to prove, she went to the house of God and cried. And God said, it's not enough reason for you to have a child. Until she gave up and said, Lord, this is not about Penina again. I align my will to you. She prayed once and a child came. Once. 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 So many people want crowd. They want power. They want revelation. 80% of the text messages that people send to me, what is the secret of your anointing? What is the secret of your grace? What is this thing in these teachings that transform people? Let me tell you, it's beyond prayer. It's beyond fasting. The motif of your heart is greater is the foundation upon which any true spiritual experience is accepted before God. this already is a deliverance for somebody hearing me because it's, it's a call for you to find out you have been engaging sincerely in many spiritual attempts but you may never find the power of god until your motif the state of your heart is arrived The sincerity and the love that you have for God and his people. The sincerity and the love that you have. How sincere is your motive? As far as God is concerned and the sheep of his pasture. The Bible says a good shepherd lays down his life. He does not stand on the sheep so that they will see him. A good shepherd is not one who prays in tongues a good shepherd is not just one who walks in miracles a good shepherd lays down his life constrains himself inconveniences himself for the success the progress how many pastors do that how many pastors rejoice that god is lifting people how many pastors rejoice you see when you understand this you will at once, listen, at once. I remember one time, I think I was, I, I, I don't know where exactly, and we were sitting down and one pastor, I was talking with a group of pastors, and then somebody passed and then they tapped in and said, that's, that's apostle, the apostle Joshua Selman, you've been hearing about, that's him. And he came around and sat down in less than 10 minutes. This man was telling me, oh, he bought his suit, so, so, so amount, God has been faithful in the ministry. They've been seeing all kinds of explosion. And later I asked the other person, I said, sorry, what is the membership strength of this church we're talking about here? And it was not even up to 35. Are we together now? So you see that this person came and was talking like this in hope to get honor and respect because he has been taught that when you try to create that picture and you package yourself, and make it look like, look, I'm an overseer. I'm not just a pastor. I need you to know that I'm overseeing something. You need to realize that there are people under me. There are pastors around. You say, oh, really? We see what God is doing. Please, let me advise you. Get out of those wrong and devilish associations. I'm telling you this. You may be criticized, but it's better to be criticized than do business with God. you never find me in a company of all this rubbish by the grace of God no I never look down on any man 
whether you are pastoring one church or two churches and I never give you any unnecessary honor whether you are pastoring one million people are we together now there are certain people here if God will give you one tenth of the anointing you are crying for God will have to summon prayer warriors to pray for your salvation not even the church again just to make sure that your salvation is protected are we together so many people we have seen many people let's use the music industry for instance we have seen people who when they started they they ran around pastors pray for me give me anointing give me this and that and the moment god lifts them a little they change in a way that you will not imagine are we together now and you find out that their motivation is no longer the passion for god it is where honorarium will come where the paycheck is fattest is where the holy spirit is directing them are we together so if they give you a ministration in one small youth fellowship or where there are 30 zealous youths genuinely hungry for God and they give you another invitation in Victoria Island where you are flying business class are we together now and a Range Rover Sports is what is receiving you from the airport to the hotel and you sit down and calculate you say I've suffered in this life even God knows I've suffered in this life then you take all kinds of selfies and snapshots of yourself and send it and write on that God is faithful. God is faithful, yes, but the motive behind that statement is corrupt. What you are really saying is watch my life and be intimidated. You are not saying, you are just using a Christian term. Are we together? Motif. I watch with pain in my heart. Because I know that God is still looking for men and women. There is no man of God that can bring the revival we are talking about single-handedly. The best of any man is an effective member. God is looking for an army, not a person. If it looks like there is only one person, it's because many people are not ready. It's not because God is mising his grace. I tell you this. so many people praying and crying use me oh god let me change my territory use me as an agent of revival all kinds of people trying to play all kinds of gimmicks to see the power of god come but when he searches their hearts he sees that their motives are not right how many ladies want to marry men of god you would think it's because they, are, they care about the burden of the vineyard. You would think they love the man and say, Oh God, let me live my life ministering to this man. The way they talk, you will be motivated. You say, you can imagine her passion. Have you eaten, sir? Have you really eaten? Are you okay? Huh? You have been losing weight these days. Are you okay? But the truth of it is, it's not any passion for any sheep. It's that the last time they checked their television and saw how mama looked, mama of whichever ministry it was admirable people will come and kneel down before you and say mommy just speak a word and drop a check and they say if this is what mama represents i'm, I'm up for it i mean i i take it with all gladness and gratitude so it makes the sister to always establish her presence in the prayer meeting when there is bible study the sister is there are we together when there is any fasting program, she's there. She comes fasting but holds cooler for the pastor. Now, there's nothing wrong with cooler ministry. It's very useful. Uh, come on, very, very useful. Are we together? So that I don't make ladies punish a lot of pastors from... Do what God has asked you to do to the man of God. Are we together? When food finished for Elijah... When Elijah's food finished and water dried, God sent him immediately to a woman to take care of him. So that ministry is very biblical. Are we together? Motivation. 
how many people in church are looking for ordination and PA so, and they are the first to come and greet the pastor in the morning pastor how are you I want to tell you what is happening in this church it's like you have been very busy but I've been covering for you I can I can tell you exactly what has been happening the last time you went there is a stubborn lady in the worship team I don't know exactly it's not happening here I can tell you at least not not to this level praise the Lord so I can give this example generally speaking and then once you talk you now say pastor uh, there's a message that I prepared anytime you are not free you are busy I can always stand in for you at the conference or the crusade you will look at this guy and believe that he's very zealous the pastor will say I really have someone covering my back but it's because this person went and met his uncle and the uncle said the job is not coming and he sat down and calculated and said which one is the fastest route to establishment masters PhD I can start up a business it will take five years before it will be established but if I partner with this man I'm sure that in six months God will wipe my tears so he comes and you will find unusual passion are we together motive whenever you see a man who is very close to the anointing and never receives it his motive stopped him from receiving that's what happened to Gehazi by the grace of God when you see the heads of departments of this ministry and many people and other people who are connected to this ministry when you look at the life of those who are connected in reality you even those who have never seen my face you will see a reproduction of grace I have met people in meetings I sat down and I thought I was hearing myself I was like my goodness who is this guy but there are others who are around the anointing around but their motive oh look let me tell you something about God he is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents hallelujah Elisha worked with Elijah for a very long time he would have been I mean um, um, Gehazi he would have been prophet Gehazi but you can see his motive one time Naaman came and when Naaman was healed Elisha told him to just go and carry all his goodies and go and Naaman like Judas you see it now Naaman said we can't let this thing just go like that and he ran after him and said wait my master just changed his mind can you offload some of these things I will handle it and when he came back he just kept quiet like nothing happened and Elisha looked at him and said was my spirit not with you sometimes members in church are really foolish if a man is really anointed and he can stand on stage and see what is happening in the lives of people what makes you believe he cannot discern your motive are we together when I talk to pastors and I counsel them and they bring me problems maybe them assistants um, other people around are fighting I look at them and I say come on now are you not anointed where did you keep the anointing do you drop it just at the altar can you not discern everyone say motive say it again motive your motive and your motivation sincerity is what is lacking in the body of Christ sincerity sincerity of motive is the reason why we have not seen the power of God in our lives sincerity of motive our motives are perverted our motives are corrupted I once met a pastor who told me he had met Benny Hinn one on one when he told me he had met Benny Hinn one on one I looked at his life and tears wanted to come out of my eyes 
he thought it was a testimony I said I can't understand what, what are you saying he said truly he was in a program he happened to be like a PA or some not PA but you know those who and see please if you are close to a man of God go back and start examining because proximity is not equal to connectivity you can be the closer you are to a man of God the farther away your chances of truly receiving the anointing because familiarity can step in are we together now motif motif I never get too familiar with the Holy Spirit I love him the Holy Spirit has revealed himself in uncommon dimensions to me but at every point I make sure that that sense of honor that my motif is always aright when I'm praying for a meeting oh Lord I thank you for your power and your glory in this meeting he sees my heart and he knows that I'm not trying to look for a name I'm not trying to look for fame are we together when was the last time listen and I'm talking to all of us especially for those who are pastors when was the last time your motif was aright you see why David was called a man after God's heart David would say search my heart not search my throne search my heart try my thoughts because my heart can be deceitful So many people have missed out on the will of God. That's the reason why you find out that in many churches, after a while, people start fighting for the position that is most lucrative. When you call somebody and say, promise, go and work in welfare. Ken, work in prayer department. Maman, work in ushering. Maman says, ushering. It's me now that you are giving ushering. This guy is in prayer department. At least the honorarium, there's a possibility of honorarium coming. Welfare, there's no possibility of any honorarium coming. Are we together? Have you seen people lobby for positions in church? You've seen that happen? This is the reason. They find, you know how a funnel is. When you pour water, the funnel moves in a direction. And so they discern where the money or the honor is flowing and they leech themselves around that place and God sees their hearts says your motif is corrupted I like you to in a very sincere way listen cry out and ask the Lord to search your motif for desiring his presence for desiring the anointing for desiring crowd for desiring revelation for desiring fame you want miracle power is up for grabs but the question is what is your motivation are we together very important come and make my heart your home Come and be everything I am and all I know. Search me through and through till my heart becomes a home for you. Come and make my heart your home come and be everything I am and all I know yeah search me through and through till my heart becomes when was the last time you listen to a man of God, his prayer content, and you had him praying and crying for the sheep. Oh God, bless these people. Oh God, increase them. If it means that you don't lift me and you lift them, go ahead, oh God. Sincere motive. 
sincere desire. Oh God, I'm a shepherd. They can die, but let me live. That's the prayer of many people. That's the attitude of many people. I pray for you. May God touch your motif and bring you to a point where you are very sincere. Many people watch Johnson Suleiman and watch all the prophets who move in very uncommon levels of the revelatory dimensions of prophecy and you see the desire you see the desire you i mean you see the hunger every time they say a man of god is coming to town you see so many people they go and sit in front you would think they want the anointing for a clean motive sincerity that's what i shared with the pastors I told them many of you are not sincere it shows it shows in your discussions it shows in your your secret lives that you really do not love the sheep it shows that you don't care about them every time i come in for koinonia and i see crowds of people and i see people standing if i see just one person standing i can feel it in my heart Sometimes I'm almost quarreling the protocol department and they say, look, we are doing our best. There is only so much we can do. I, I feel as though I should stand and let the people, I, I just would not interrupt the work of the various departments. But I see it. Especially when we are done and I see people leaving and while we are going and I see some people trekking in groups, happily through the night, my heart is moved. Listen, compassion is a big key to walking in the anointing compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people it's the secret to the anointing are we together if sam is sick right now and i come to sam and i lay hands on sam and sam is not healed i lay hands on sam and sam is not healed I will carry Sam by myself to Shika because I am so interested in his healing my ego notwithstanding. But a pastor who is more concerned about his ego would rather leave Sam to die. Are we together? So that it will be through his hand. How many pastors have quarreled members for receiving miracles in other places aside from their church? Are we together? How many people will dare not give a testimony about what God used another man of God to do in their life before the overseer? He says, so you are trying to say I'm not anointed. Now, honor your man of God. Respect him. Don't come and cause trouble between pastors. But at the same time, any man who is desperate for change in people will celebrate that change even if it does not come through him. Because the most important thing is that the people have received. Many of the testimonies we give in our churches were not carried out by the hands of many of the pastors. That's the truth about it. But it's just that the people know if they testify and say the whole truth, the pastor will note. In fact, it's not even the pastor. There is already a system to punish disloyalty. Are we together? Motif. Motif. And some of us in our little groups and fellowships is already happening to us right now. The moment somebody comes and says, wow, God bless me with this revelation and it did not come from you. All of a sudden you start looking and say, oh, I wish I was correct. Let me see it. Motif. If what you want is celebration, and being a celebrity if that is your prime if you just want celebrity please go and ask him if you want the anointing if you want to serve God genuinely your heart must first be to him and to the sheep of his pasture I worship you great I am you are mighty in this place I worship you King of Kings 
you are the strong and breasted one I lift my hands in worship as I see praises to your name I lift my hands in as I see praises to your name. Listen. You must love God and align your motif. I say it again. Align your motif for desiring the gifts of the Spirit. Align your motif for desiring power. You want access to revelation. Align your motif. align your motif motif is the core behind the dispensing of graces unto people what is the state of your heart I know you are well meaning but what is the state of your heart sister it's not like God cannot give you a great man of God to marry but what is the motif behind your heart? If the motif of your heart is to serve God and to stand by that man to be a blessing, to partner with him, to lift up the banner of Christ in the nations, I guarantee you God will not withhold it from you. But if your motivation is that you just sit down and just smile around and look like you are more than other ladies and so Ankara and all of this you will never let me just tell you you don't even have to pray about it I will help you answer the prayer now it will never happen that way because God is not a fool I want you to know that kingdom advancement is a serious business to God he gave the blood of his very son for it and so anyone playing games with the anointing closely related to this I want to share with all of us a big secret before we go to point two. I began to pray recently and I was asking the Lord why many miracles that happen to people in the body of Christ don't last and the Lord showed me something that scared me I want to share with you this everybody say money shout it say mammon the Lord taught me a mystery that I want all of us. Please open your eyes and let me teach you something. Watch this. If I'm holding money, so I have your attention now. Come, sir. Watch this. If Michael is sick or in need of breakthrough or he's trusting God to wipe his tears in any area, are we together now? And then he comes to meet me as a man of God. And I tell him, Michael, give me 1,000 naira and I will pray for you. And I will sow a seed. I guarantee you in the name of the Lord Jesus, you just cancel that spiritual transaction. Anointing will never, has never been an instrument in exchange for money. Are we together now? I can bless him. Listen, let me tell you why many people, especially many young pastors and young prophets, are fro their, their lives look like they are fake. Some of them are not fake. The truth is that they are violating this law because you never buy the power of God. No, sir. It's God speaking to us. I can bless him and he decides to sow a seed into my life he can use the money and buy a tape or buy a book a pastor can challenge people in the church to sow seeds for a project that's all right but where the money is in direct demand so that you will supply anointing is called witchcraft if you are doing it here stop it now let me tell you now stop it not later now stop it between you and god let it never happen you will never see the power of god that way remember in the book of acts the gentleman who wanted to buy power from peter and he said your money perish with you 
pastors have reduced themselves and reduced the potency of the anointing of the spirit i know we need money ministries need money don't get me wrong i know i know that pastors need money they have families but not to compromise with the anointing the anointing will bring you money big time people will surprise you but it's not going to be this way are we together all those things where you carry offering basket and as i heal you you drop your own whether you call it free will or whatever if it came in demand for the anointing brothers and sisters if you ever saw result it was the mercy of god not a justification of what happened this is one thing that i've seen that is eating people in the church you do not use the anointing for merchandise no you will be blessed you will be changed look let me tell you bless people and allow them to decide to honor you they will surprise you how much can i charge you for a breakthrough how much can i charge you for miracles let's assume that you receive a breakthrough and then you i ask you to pay me ten thousand twenty thousand let's even assume that i ask you to pay me fifty thousand and you bring it i have received wages not favor wages but by the time i bless you and i leave you to the god that sent me he himself will move you and you will come with one million naira ten times what i would have demanded and you will bless me it's impossible to be a true servant of god and bless people without god moving them to bless you it's no it never happens if nobody is blessing you it's because your anointing is not notable enough are we together this is one of the reasons why many people are rushing into ministry because it seems like it's working someone gets into ministry and in four months he has 10 jeeps he raised offering for himself and 10 people gave and there are rich people you see people are desperate so whatever i said Abel, please take the jeep and heal me i'm tired of all this trouble but god is watching and you find out that they rise and never get to certain levels and god says i can't take you international with this attitude you will misrepresent me your motive is corrupted there have been times when people have sown seeds in this ministry especially seeds of kinds and when they bring it because i never use them but i just bless them and we release it sometimes we give it to people sometimes we honor the workers with it i look at it when i see maybe especially gadgets or some things and i find out that it's very expensive and we get to find out that the owner most probably is a student or whatever i'm even moved and i say ah this is a student probably the parents bought this for him we appreciate the sincerity but i have not once not twice i've asked the protocol department look for the owner of this and bring and i pray for the person bless the person and give the person the gift back for many of us your hand is in a mode to collect consistently it doesn't matter how it comes no that's not the way god blesses people in the kingdom is god helping us to examine motives motives how many pastors have trouble rich men in their church visitations every day you would think the visitation is because of brotherly love what sort of brotherly love you pass 12 members who are your members but because you know that you will take kunu or zobo or or maybe um whatever it is they just find something or cold water that is not honoring enough and then you go and keep inconveniencing some other people and tell them look uh i came with a word this word is very strategic let me see a seed i, I need a seed to, to provoke the anointing the anointing is provoked yes but it's provoked out of revelation, not demand. Are we together now? It is true that you can bring a seed to a man of God. When Isaac was going to bless his sons, he said, make me venison. 
this was talking to, it was a fatherly blessing. It's not just that he was saying, come and buy my anointing with venison. He was saying, honor me with it. I've taught you the law of honor. But this thing of demanding money for power. Anytime, listen, it's not even every giving that is worth collecting. When you discern that that giving is like selling your birthright, you honorably decline. There are people who give you in such a way that the day you, as you collect it, you throw away your honor. Preserve the, how much is 10 naira? How much is 20 naira? Tea and bread. And you lose everything because of it. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Don't get into that attitude of wanting to buy anointing. I hate the way we talk about money all the time in church. It, it can, I mean, have you seen men of God who preach a very solid message? Solid message. And when the spirit of the people are lifted, it, it just now coins, it says in conclusion, there's a story. And uh, immediately the people start getting uncomfortable because they know where he's going to. Say, I can't end this, this meeting without you hearing this story. Because this story would demand a, a response. There was a man, and then so on and so forth. And they tell you all the story. And at the end of it, the man now says, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all of that. And um, you, I'm going to bless you. Stand here with 5,000. Not if God is leading you or if you are led to sow 10,000. You, you are a rich man. You can't bring 5,000 for me. Stand here with 10,000. And the moment you start doing that, you may not be fake, but you are driving the, fi the, fi the fire of God from your life. And if you don't take time, it will become Ichabod, the departure of the glory. That's why certain men of God, eventually you find out that the grace of God just diminishes in their life. You would think they did not visit the Baba they used to visit. It's not Baba anything. It's just scriptural principles that they have violated. Say in the name of Jesus, I receive grace to be sincere and to be true. I open up my heart and I ask the Spirit of the Lord to examine my motif. How many people pray for hours because they are trying to intimidate others? They are tired though, but because they saw another colleague, they fire on. On a very good day, they would have rested if the person is not there. I've seen people who pray and they are sleeping. Once they hear the door, they just stop. To mean you should come and see me. In the... Look, 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 look. Don't play games with the anointing. You must be true if you want the power of God. Number two. You want to carry the glory of God upon your life. Your level of passion and hunger for God. Your level of passion and hunger. There's a song in my spirit. She's your mentor now. Come and sing it if you know. Spirit, lead me where my truth. Let me walk upon the waters. You know the song? That's the song that is in my spirit. Sing it to him. In the presence of my Savior, Spirit, lead me where my trust is our borders. Let me walk upon the waters wherever you will come. Sing it one more time with all your heart. Where am 
my trust for you is without borders. Let me walk upon the waters. Your level of passion and hunger. Brothers and sisters, seeking God is a full-time pursuit. There's nothing like part-time seeking God. Are we together? No, you don't seek God part-time. You don't seek God with your spare time, sorry. You don't seek God with the remaining time you have. After you make money, after you marry, after you give birth to children, the balance of it, you now say, oh yeah, God, take. No, no, no. The jealousy of God fights anything that is above him. Even if it's what he gave you, he will still fight it. Listen, God can give you a thing that he will still fight it tomorrow. The moment it rises above him, his jealousy begins to fight it immediately. When the Bible says God is a jealous God, take that word very seriously. your passion psalm 42 verse 2 listen pursuit is the proof of passion pursuit is the proof of passion every time you have passion towards anything you will seek it and pursue it unsupervised unsupervised do you know why the christianity of many believers is cold and lukewarm let me tell you the truth they do not have passion for God. My soul thirsted for God, for the living God. When shall I come and appear before God? This is the psalmist. A psalm communicating passion. Are we together? If this is my wife, if this is my wife, watch this. And I travel for two days. If I'm not a foolish and a stupid man, what should happen to me while I'm away? If I really love her and I'm passionate, I should miss her, Abby. When I'm about coming, what should happen when I see her? Will I just pass and say, how are you? I'm back. You know there's something wrong. Immediately. Are we together? When relationship and fellowship is in place, I should run and give her a big hug and say, sweetheart, I missed you. How are you? Just me. What has happened? Passion. If a call is coming, I ignore the call because I'm trying to communicate passion. If you must be prompted to love God and to seek God, it's because you are not passionate enough. Anything you are passionate about, you have time for it. My brother, that's why this night after Koinonia, as late as it is, you are still going to escort the lady to her room. The reason is because you have passion. Are we together? There are brothers after Koinonia right now. They will even enter bus. There is a fire they themselves cannot explain. They say, let's go. What is bus? It will kill the time we have for our discussion. And the lady stands. Brothers and sisters from here to North Gate will look like five minutes. And they say, we are even here. That's passion. But let let me tell you to escort somebody you know i mean a man let me ask you to escort your colleague by the time you get to that shop you say are you biking or we are walking because you love the person jesus brotherly love but there is no passion that fire is not there have you seen a lady 12 30 the guy is shaking and he says let me try flashing her he flashes once and she pity say i'm sorry let me start by apologizing say for what Say, I, you, you sound sleepy. Say, I was just stretching. But the truth is, she was sleeping. Everybody say, passion. Say, fire. fire. That's the name of that experience. If you don't have that thing, listen, listen. If as you are sitting down right now, this is not your feeling for God, you need a retreat. I'm telling you the truth. It's a sign. Don't wait until you see any demon or anybody chasing you in a dream. You need a retreat very quick. That's what it takes. 
there must be an obsession that's the word really if you are not yet obsessed about God forget about his power in your life it must be an obsession and by the way let me digress to help you test whether you are ready for marriage with the same feeling if you love the man and the woman in a lesser sphere careless easily replaceable attitude please seek counsel because you are about to get into trouble are we together it takes passion and fire to give excuses have you seen people who have passion for anything they give excuses watch how people act and treat football man you is about to play match 3 30 by two o'clock the person is there with singlet already arguing are we together arguing one hour before the time and then they sit down in the place of argument and they say if you did not start watching football from 1993 don't join us because you don't even know what it is. we need somebody with a historical perspective and they're arguing and the person is mentioned is called passion the moment the match starts the person is in front sweating but remaining there thirsty but remaining there are we together a point comes there are guys there are ladies who will still remove his shirt and say i'm not going out this sweat we will die here with this sweat i must watch this match it's called passion now come to the house of god and see the coldness the coldness the coldness when an average believer tries to show that i'm a little serious with god we just say pastor are we together or oh, mama it's a shame Bless you. it's a big shame that we even resent people for being passionate about god until your love for god make someone around you uncomfortable you don't love god enough yet that someone can look at you and say Kai, oh, well carry your madness and leave my presence every champion is a fanatic of whatever he's excelling in are we together let's as fair lukewarm attitude in everything is even why people fail generally in life there is nothing in life that is worth their unflinching pursuit i'm chasing after you no matter what you know the song i will keep bringing songs that i my spirit i don't know the song so much but if you can help me any one of you if you don't know it i'm chasing after you no matter More and more, more and more, more and more, more and more, more and more. It's important. To what degree do you seek Him? Let me tell you something. God has become my obsession. When I say an obsession, I don't know what he has done to me, but I pray he will do it to you. Amen. Believe me. Believe me. It's an obsession. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. It's an obsession. You must get to that point. Before you want a man's anointing, you must meet the standard of his level of hunger for God. No. Anointing does not just flow carelessly. Don't you think because you are touching some? No! Bishop Oyedeko said the secret of um, the hand of God upon his life is his heart beat for God. More and more. 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 Psalm 69 verse 9. Let me show you something very powerful. There is a term I've seen in the Bible but I've hardly studied it. Hardly studied it. But I studied it recently and I was amazed. Everyone read Psalm 69 verse 9. One to read. 
for the zeal of thine house had eaten me up and the reproaches of them that reproach you have come upon me listen let me explain to you what this means the zeal of the house of god has so eaten me to an extent i have become the same way they reproach god they have transferred their resentment towards god to me because i have sought god so much i am the closest expression to him that they can see so the anger they have for him they have transferred it for me that's how much i love him hallelujah are we together it says the zeal this was a prophecy about jesus christ the zeal of thy house has consumed me the zeal of thy house that a man can be so consumed with the things of God it has nothing to do with whether you are called into the ministry or not zeal the zeal of the Lord's house makes you pursue him ruggedly listen listen when was the last time you woke up in the night and you could not sleep again because you are thinking about the kingdom you are thinking about his majesty something about him now you have me and now i'm forever changed i've abandoned everything i've ever known now i surrender my life is not mine you are everything everything is you you are everything everything is you you are the first the last beginning and the end In you I live and have my being There is absolutely nothing you can do Absolutely nothing compares to you I don't know the other part But you are everything Everything is you. You are everything. Everything is you. Sing it to him from your heart. He is everything. Everything is you. You are everything. Everything is you. You are Everything is you. Until you love God more than money, until you love Him more than wife, more than husband, more than academics, more than job, more than promotion, more than children, you are not entitled to the glory of God upon your life. The zeal in John chapter 2 from verse 17. When they saw the way Jesus was walking and the way he was doing the things in the ministry and flogging people out of the temple, they remembered that the zeal of the Lord, zeal is like an anointing. It will drive you into places you never dreamt you will go. Zeal. The same way you see a brother standing in the rain and rain is beating him and he says, sorry, why are you here? He says, I'm waiting for... I'm waiting for grace. Say, is it compulsory? It's late. He say, please, if you will not support my agenda, leave this place. Because the rain is not in. Say, what is rain? Am I sick? It's called zeal. If you do not have that for the house of God, you don't love him. If coming for koinonia does not drive you, do you know, every Friday is like a wedding day for me. I literally... As I sit down here, many of you would have noticed. I get blessed by the worship team, but I can't wait for them to finish their rendition for me to jump up and come. It's called zeal. 
I've been doing this for years. If I were pretending it, you would know it by now. There are times that I come directly from a meeting to Koinonia. But the passion and the fire is there. Food or no food. I pray for you that the zeal of the Lord will eat you up. That it will consume you. That it will make you passionate. So that when you get a job, you will not leave him. Are we together? So that when you marry, you will not leave him. So that when you no longer have prayer points. Do you know it is possible God will solve your problem? There is no personal prayer point. What then will you do when he solved everything? The reason why many people are drawing after him. I'm telling you this sincerely. Is because of the load of problems they have. If God solves all your problems, will you still seek him? If, there, if you're coming for miracle service, it's just to bring the prayer request of others. Will you still love him? I can understand why you love him because you need him for your defense next week. You need him for graduation. You are trusting you will manipulate the result in a way that you will live and be in peace. So I can understand your sin. But what happens? Listen. You always know those who never had zeal for God by their commitment after God meets their needs. Not before he meets it. After. When a lady is looking for a husband desperately, I can understand why you are around for night vigil. But what if a husband comes and a rich one and then one month after your marriage you are pregnant, every testimony you want has been given. And to hell with God until another problem comes. Shade is here with her kids, raising them. She's been like this for many years in this ministry, way before marriage. Raising her kids. Her son is very interesting. He can mimic me almost verbatim. This boy you are saying. Take it! Or this and that, and in his own little way, but he's growing. Some of us, it took the grace of God to drag you back to the house of God. The money you got before has finished. So you came. You, you came in the name of thanksgiving, but the truth is, you are only thanking God because you are aware that in the next two weeks, whether you thank him or not, there's going to be a problem. And so you have come to the house of God. I love him whether he answers my prayer or not. I love him whether he ever anoints me or not. Koinonia is too small a reason for me to love God. The results in my life are too small a reason. Fall in love with him to that extent. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. Again and again I keep falling in love with you I keep falling in love with you I keep falling in love with you Again and again I keep falling in love with you I keep falling in love with you Falling in love with you again and again. Falling in love with you. Falling in love with you. Falling in love with you again and again. Psalm 63, verse 1 and 3. Fall in love with him and you will see his power in your life in remarkable ways. Fall in love with him genuinely beyond the need for things. Give me tea, give me bread. Fall in love with him genuinely and I'm telling you, you will see God answer your thoughts before they become prayer points. Psalm 63 Oh God Thou art my God not our God my God, Ellie, Ellie, 
I'm so passionate about you. When I wake up, you are my obsession. And so I seek you early. My soul thirsts for thee. My body, my flesh longs after you. Do you know lust is a corruption of passion that should have been directed towards God? Lust. Lust. What you call lust. Immorality. Lust is misdirected and corrupted passion that would have been channeled appropriately to the rightful owner. But because the person is standing where God is, so you direct that passion towards the person. It says, my flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. Oh God, you are my God. I seek you early. I don't give you the remaining of my time. I don't give you the remaining of my time. When I do what I think is important in my life, then I carry the balance of the time and bribe God with it. And say, okay, Lord, please, so that I, you, don't, you save me from the guilt of feeling like I'm not seeking you. Most times when I go back after koinonia, after everyone is done and I've eaten, I go down my knees and sometimes I cannot even sleep again. I just sit down and I begin to meditate on his faithfulness. And sometimes I can just begin to play worship songs and his presence, his presence, his literal Shekinah will fill that room. Fill that room. There is a secret. There is a secret. Do you love him or do you want to use him? God does not want an affair. He wants a relationship. I've told you. God does not want an affair with you. You can have an affair with a prostitute. You can have an affair with your wife. You have a relationship with your wife. An ongoing, continual relationship. But you can meet a prostitute for one night and never see her. Not even know how her face looks like. God does not want an affair. Many of us are giving him an affair. I tell you the truth. Tonight, God is calling us to the place of power. Calling us to the place of power. Number three, the third key to carrying the glory of God. Can we just pray in one minute? I just feel that we should just, just pray in tongues just for one minute. Just to open up our spirits so that we don't trivialize this that we are praying. Desire and I long to worship you. Oh, you alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. I want to talk about the third point but the Holy Spirit is stopping me because these points that I've said enough God wants to do something in our midst this thing has pleased the Lord this thing I have taught I know when the Lord is pleased over something would you just pray and just pray in the spirit this is well pleasing to the Lord tonight it's an incense of worship it's a call for us to return back to that place. Would you dance with me, oh lover of my soul to the song of all songs? Would you dance with me, oh, oh lover of my soul, yeah, to the song of all songs? Would you dance with me, oh, lover? Oh 
I tell you, would you dance with me, oh, lover of my soul, to the song of all songs, would you dance with me, oh, One more time. as a job. I seek his presence as a full-time assignment. Let me tell you the secret of power beyond your fasting and your prayer. Have a genuine motive. No matter how wrong you are, let your motive be true. No matter what you don't know, let your motive be true. Your motive is greater than your actions. Your motives are stronger than your actions. And then seek him. Seek him. You will see more miracles in your life by the act of his love. Listen, listen, listen. If these two kids are my children, by the time I'm done, you may not have the kind of access you want to see me. Is that true? Because you are coming to Apostle Joshua Selman. But if these are my children, they have no business with Apostle. All they know is Father. Are we together? They can watch you join a queue and just run. You see how our children come after Koinonia here. They don't come and join any line. They just pass you and rush to come and hug me. They are coming to hug their father. They have no business with whether, whatever. To them it's not a puzzle. To them it's someone they love. Take away the unnecessary religion and the unnecessary formality. Come into that inner chamber of the spirit where only lovers come. Past the place where prayer warriors stop. Past the place where fasting giants stop. Past the place where word carriers stop and enter the inner chamber. It's a place where only lovers enter. Even prayer warriors don't enter that chamber. Even fasting giants don't enter. The Bible says no eye has seen, no ear has heard, and it has not occurred in the heart of any man. What God has in store for them that love him, them that are obsessed, listen, you will be sleeping in the night and his majesty will come and wake you and open you up to mysteries while someone else is fasting god takes his prayer point and gives you as a token of his love listen in 2000 and i think was it six now or so i had a vision and when i had a vision that was the first time that I saw a manifestation of the angel that walks with me. He's called the angel of the Lord's presence. Hallelujah. I have seen three of these beings. There is one, the name is Zion's help. That's the name of the angel. The helper of Zion. These are the angels that bring breakthrough. These are the angels that bring results. 
I, God is my witness. I cannot remember fasting and praying to say, open my eyes, give me prophetic. Oh, I'm just madly in love with him. Lord, I don't know what you have done to me, but I'm in love with you. And God says, I see your obsession. And he says, let me test that love. What is it that you cannot give me? And I say, Lord, the stage is yours. Carry it. Whatever you think in my life is standing in your place. Take it. And God says, truly, I see. The proof of love is that there is no, there is no hiding anything. Are we together? The apex of love between a husband and wife is intimacy. Being naked and unashamed. Are we together? If you do not get to that point where you can be open to God and naked and unashamed, there is deceit somewhere in your relationship. If I'm going out with you and I password some messages in my phone and I'm afraid of you accessing it, listen, confusion is a sign that a deceiver is present. Are we together? Genuine passion. We are going to pray. God is going to visit us very briefly. But we are going to pray. To worship you I live. To worship you I live. I live to worship you. To worship you I live. To worship you, I live, I live to worship you. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. What it is, it must wait. Lord, give me you. Relationship can wait. Jobs can wait. Anointing can wait. Give me you. be a very strange impartation in this place. This is why the Lord stopped me. And listen, aside from several activations that will happen, one of the major impartations that will happen in this place is the anointing to fall in love with God in strange ways. Listen, listen, many of you, what will happen to you tonight it will become as if you have become a madman. Something will come upon you. Something will come upon you in dramatic dimensions, proportions that you have never seen. It's a dimension of love. I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. Falling in love with you. Again and again, I keep falling in love with you. I keep falling in love with you. Again and again, I keep falling in love with you. 
I keep falling in love with you Falling in love with you One more time Yeah, I keep falling in love with More than ministry More than the desire for power More than the desire for fame and greatness Lift your hands I tell you something mighty will happen to you the zeal of the Lord 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 will consume you it will eat you up like a cancer As I begin to sing, it will be like an impartation from my left to my right and outside. It's like an initiation to a realm of love. And now I am desperate for you. Go ahead, oh great one. And bring the seal upon people. And I, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. And I, Father, I pray, let a strange anointing fall upon your people. At the count of three, there will be mighty impartation, love for God. It will come heavy upon you. One, two, three, take it now. Take it now. Take it right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Everywhere in this place, take it right now. Fire is a fire. And a seal for God is a fire and a seal for God. A fire, a passion for the house of God, a passion for the things of God. Just a few minutes there's an impartation happening to you your love for God must be real it must be genuine it must be genuine it must be genuine ask him to give you a baptism of love for him love for his house Lord, let there be an awakening in the hearts of your people. Cry for the zeal of the Lord to come upon you.
Press. Just ask him, Lord, let your zeal consume me. Let your zeal consume me. Let your zeal consume me. your hands lift your hands I hear my spirit visions and dreams visions and dreams a mantle for visions and dreams prophetic encounters that will take you to the secret place Lord right now where are those people let that mantle fall upon them visions and dreams take it now take it now take it now take it now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus visions and dreams you will hear his voice in the night visions and dreams Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm hearing my spirit, spiritual accuracy. Spiritual accuracy. Especially for people in ministry. Please lift your hands. Something mighty will happen. God is about to end confusion. In lives and myths. There is a mystery of spiritual accuracy. My God, I pray right now. Like a mantle. Like an anointing that gives precision as many people who are supposed to walk in this wherever they are in the name of Jesus visit them right now 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 you reign you ancient Zion's king Kadosh Kadosh you are mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Oh, sing, now fountains of the deep. Cry out, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. 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 When your motif is right and true and when you seek him with your all like the deer pants after the water brook, unashamedly 
unembarrassingly then the stage is clear for you to cast true fire then the stage is clear for you to carry a mantle that no man can deny I'm sorry Lord for the thing I've made it when it's all about you it's all about I'm sorry, Lord, for the thing I've made it when it's all about you. It's all about you, Jesus. Yes, it's all about you. It's all about you. It's all about you, Lord. It's all about the Lord I want those who came visiting to come out I want to minister to them those who came visiting specifically from maybe other places pastors and all of that I usually don't do this I want you to stand with your heart hungry and desperate hungry and genuinely desperate to go back with an encounter oh you will carry something heavy believe me carry a strange order of grace help them you will carry something mighty that you will take back to your regions strange levels of fire and anointing deep fountains of encounters Your majesty, I be your sea. Stretch your hands towards them as I lay my hands on them. Father, let something come upon our visitors in the name of Jesus Christ. As I lay my hands on you, something mighty comes upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Take it and go with it. Take it and go with it. Touch this gentleman for me. 
lift your hands not just the healing anointing but the teaching anointing I release it upon you right now receive it right now in the name of Jesus Christ a strange fire for revelation there is one of the ladies that I minister to here um, there is a strong prophetic anointing that is coming upon her the Lord will identify her by herself just among you people standing here the power of God will come upon that person in a, in a mighty way is one of the ladies here is a strong prophetic unction I don't know exactly who that person is but I will minister to you Lord identify the lady whoever that lady is let this strong prophetic unction come upon such a one in the name of Jesus Christ 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 there is deliverance happening to two people two people in the congregation I cast that devil in the name of Jesus I see deliverance happening to two people I cast that spirit of witchcraft in the name of Jesus Christ I cast that spirit by the power of the Holy Spirit I release all of you to go and do mighty things you came all the way you will go back like Saul went back when he encountered Samuel many of you will go back and step into strange levels of grace strange dimensions of the hand of God all the people God has put under your care and under your watch go back and raise them to become mighty men go and reproduce the experience you see in this ministry in your various groups and churches and fellowships in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ God bless you those who can go can go back those under the anointing you just leave them praise the Lord lift your hands everybody lift your hands as I pray the powers of darkness tying lives and families will give way listen I tell you there will be a move of blood and fire the Lord showed me why blood to open up the gates that has been closed why fire to burn everything that has not been planted are you hearing me lift your hands mighty Jesus father there are families that are here tonight as a matter of life and death Lord your people are not gathered at unto a man they have come for a visitation yokes of sicknesses are killing families there are many people who have been tied down and Lord we understand that the enemy has done this but tonight we come in by the blood of Jesus and Lord as I make decrees inside and outside unto the spirit that confirmed the words of your servants I pray that there be an exodus from captivity at the count of seven hear me i like you to shout the name the name of jesus at the top of your voice many of you will fall into visions and trances at once you will see liberations happening in your family ushers get ready let me help those under the anointing outside please shout Kata daba kataya. one two three four five six get ready now seven I plead the blood I plead the blood I plead the blood bring them out I plead the blood yokes be broken I plead the blood let the blood speak 
Let the blood speak. Shekekeka, shekeka, marekoto. Let the blood speak. The blood opens every gate. Every gate. Paka pa pa ra da ba ra da ra da ra da. Shekete Eke rekete ba masoto seka rabaka telekete ba mambre po shote ni ba 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 ba. Eh ya 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 ya. Sekoto te 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 te. Shaba ba 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 ra 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 ba. Shaka da 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 da. Shaka tapa kala ba la la la. Lift your hands again. At the count of three, listen. I want you to shout, I am free. At the count of three, the moment you do that, there will be a release of fire. Fire. Get ready at the count of three. One, two, Shaka parada, mapoto sosoba, rekete teka baba, o salaba da kata laba kata, rekete teba. The fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake te 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 te. I command powers. Let God's people go. I command yokes. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Chains. Chains. Be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Yeah. Sekete <laughs> Shakata pakata pakata pakata. Sekete kete kete balada ba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this lady. See how many people are trying to hold her. Look at how many people are trying to hold one person. How many people are trying to hold one person? Come out now. Out in the name of Jesus. Out now. You're going by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave her now. Now. Out. Come out. Let her be. Just leave her. Leave her on the floor. Out. Come out now. Be free from yokes. Be free. You and your loved ones.
let her go. Devil of darkness. Leave her now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. Come out. Come out right now. Release this family. Release them now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. The blood speaks. In the name of Jesus. of him now come out come out of him by the fire of the Holy Ghost release him and all that belong to him the blood speaks now I open up this gate now be free in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. These are the powers, the horns that frustrates the agenda of the kingdom. See, you must not come out here as it's happening to them, realize it's happening to you. Hallelujah. Now, anyone with any kind of growth or anything in your body or you are standing in for someone lift up your hands whether a lump a growth please lift your hands because it's time for it to go turn her look at me just look at me. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Right now, this is a this is a mighty I'm seeing seven horns on this lady's head seven horns and it's not just her seven horns this is a territorial spirit that has sat on our family but by the blood of Jesus Christ I adjure you by the blood of Jesus I see a big gate closed I open it now in the spirit Many of you may not understand what is happening. I open it. I see a gate that is closed over that family. I open it now. All the chains on it, let fire fall on them. Seketa bakata. Sekete kapa. One of the horn, terminal disease. The other one delay, the other one joblessness, the other one lack of marriage. I set it on fire as I see it in the spirit. Now, now, as it's happening to her, it happens to you in the name of Jesus. your hands hallelujah I mean those just those with any growth please lift your hands now I'll start ministering to the sick right now we'll just start with them 
and we are going to take testimonies. Hallelujah. Before Pastor Jake comes up to minister, I'm going to pray for you. Sick people, lift your hands. If you are tired of that growth, just growth of all sorts, you are tired. If you are not tired, you can put down your hand. Whether it's a lump, whether it's whatever it is. Hallelujah. Now, as I pray for you, the Lord is showing me two people. The power of God will come upon them. There are movements on your body. Movements. 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 And the Lord is showing me a mighty being. Something that looks like an alligator. This is what I'm seeing. The Lord is just showing it to me. Two of you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Wherever these two are, Lord, let your fire right now fall on those two. The power of God will come mightily upon those two people. Whether you are inside or outside. Right now, the power of God will come and the fire will fall mightily. Please, when that happens, let's have the two people out. It's falling right now. It's falling right now. Movements in your body. Movements in your body. Say Kabalaya ba. Rakatetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetet
in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now begin to check yourself. Who is Musa? Musa. Musa. Please quickly, if I if I call your case, hurry up, don't waste time. We're still expecting the person outside. The power of God will come upon the person. Just when that happens, let the person come. Musa, I'm hearing the name Musa. Who has the name Musa? Hallelujah. Please, when I mention your case or anything, you are Musa. What are you waiting for? You stand up. There is witchcraft in your family, and the Lord is going to use you as a mighty deliverer. Hallelujah. Janet. 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 The meaning of your name in your language means thank you. The meaning of your name means thank you. Thank you. You're a guy. Thank you. Is a brother, tall brother. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Now listen. There is a lady, this is a very interesting case I want to call. The Lord is ministering to me. Listen, listen. Not only do you see snakes in your dreams, you see them physically around you. This has happened in a long time. Who is that person? Please. You see snakes physically. Physically. This happens physically. It's your time of deliverance now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Please. The person is around. The person is here. Come out quickly. Please. Save our time. We have a lot to do. Who is that person? You are the one? Physically. Come. Come up. There's another person. You? Come. Come. Two of them. Come now. Hurry up. Look at me. You see physical? Yes. Since when? No. But no mic. Eh? That was last year and we didn't this year too. Where do you see the snakes? In my dreams. Sometimes maybe when I go out, I see them on the way. You see them physically. What of you? I see them in my dreams. Are you married? Do you know why? This is what we must destroy this night. You, your deliverance will start now. Praise God. of her now out by the power of the Holy Ghost now the snake you are seeing is a man that turns to a snake for you right now I, I, I just saw him in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ leave her now by the fire of the Holy Ghost out come out now out in the name of Jesus Christ out tonight is your night of liberty this lady see because I am seeing and while I stood the Lord was ministering to me and the Lord was telling me that they have made a projection that this lady will never marry any man that comes around this lady this is what destroys it. this lady you are seeing nobody likes her for whatever reason nobody can know right now leave her in the name of jesus come out now the snake you are seeing leave her right now by the fire of the holy ghost hallelujah hallelujah You brought the picture two pictures listen 
listen wait let me describe it before you come out you brought two pictures two pictures of your family members two different pictures you came and stood who is the person two pictures i mean one one two pictures you are here with two pictures of your family members who is that person the lord is ministering to me because there is i need to pray on one of them you brought two pictures of your family members please when we have that person come up what are these people here for oh i called you snake i i left her because we are going to deal with this janet where's janet where's janet three of you are janet you are from kogi state who is from kogi there is somebody from kogi janet kogi state is it kogi i think kogi is please the lord is ministering to me let's save time because i don't want you to tie down somebody's i want god to grant us grace to minister your name is janet your mom's name is janet you are from kogi state come because i see they want to kill your mother lift your hands that your mom's name is janet i will pray for you so that she will be free where what's wrong with her we need to pray for her huh because i'm first seeing sickness and then i'm seeing a ghastly motor accident we must pray for her the power of god will come upon you and it will touch her thank you jesus lord by your mercy right now let your power set him free my brother i break the curse of witchcraft in your family by the power of the holy ghost Okay, hold my hands. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My dear, let me pray for you. This thing called bad luck must live your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free. Totally free. I'm interested in your case. Let me pray for the rest. Which of your family members is here? If you are in her family, come and stand here. God is going to visit the whole family now. Our family, if you are not part of our family, don't come here, please. If you are part of our family, just come and stand here quickly. Please, let's save time. Sister, look at me. Salvation has come to your life today. This, your crying is over. Are you hearing me? Because... This, I must pray. This lady's family, she has suffered. You will just see a lady standing like this. That God will pick a lady out because this is, I'm seeing hardship. Yes, sir. Where are you from? From Berry. What's your father doing now? Nothing. What's your mother doing? Nothing. Look at this. How did I know? Do I know her? Because this is a cause of hardship. There's nothing that they do that will prosper. But tonight, in the name that is above all names salvation comes your family realize that as it's happening for one person it's happening to you too in the name of the lord jesus hold my hands do you know what i want you to do shout hold my hands shout jesus at the top of your voice can you do that jesus! family come power in the name of Jesus we are going to pray two things the Lord wants me to pray number one your mother will not be a widow are you hearing me we are going to pray we are going to break that power number two there is a cause of delay in this family that will be lifted now is that true am I making sense there is a cause of delay hold your hands together oh you are not sure when i pray for you go and continue with your work praise god there is a cause of delay father in the name of jesus you ask me to call this family out by the power of the holy ghost i release them from this devilish shackle of delay
there is the power of god upon my hands i'm going to lay it upon you as it comes upon you it will terminate this delay delay be gone you especially delay i cause delay delay in school delay in everything i cause it in the name of jesus and forgetfulness in the name of jesus christ come you where are you from kaduna you are from kaduna i need to pray for you hmm? you are not feeling very fine hold my hands this is a devilish thing thank you jesus release her right now by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah stephanie 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 do we have anybody like that stephanie that's the person bring the person in I mean that was the other one person remember our two people Break every chain. hallelujah we are going to pray for miracle jobs this night before the end of the program hallelujah enough is enough praise god we are going to pray for jobs two ladies you and you two of you talking come out come yes god would locate you what makes you think god will forget about you run and come come and take your breakthrough there is power in the name of jesus come and join them before you do your work see let me tell you something while she stood here she was praying and saying that the lord will locate her is that, is that what you were saying because i saw like a flash of light and i saw it written and this was what she was thinking and the lord said let her join and pray first hallelujah father in the name of jesus visit her family visit her family in the name of the lord jesus hold your hands together two friends you who came and we are just talking looking through the window and doing a lot of things god is going to visit you where is your mother go and tell her huh, that by next month a big miracle is coming for her hmm? you know when god tells me words like this i'm very careful before you go and write an article on me now people can write all kinds of articles prediction incorrect three exclamation <laughs> hallelujah hold my hands let me pray for two hold. god is going to visit you look at me you will be great ladies i want to pray for you the hand of god will come mightily upon you thank you father use them for your glory right now by the power of the holy ghost let their families be mighty let their lives be mighty i separate you in the name of jesus christ Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lay your hands on him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Let him experience your power and your grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are sick in your body. You came here specifically for a miracle, for sickness. Let me see your hands. Please let me see your hands quickly so that we'll know. Okay. Please come out and line up quickly. Let's minister to the sick now. Baba, come. I will start with you. Please celebrate our daddy. Thank you for coming. If you're outside, please come quickly. Just line up quickly. No. No. 
welfare. Please, please don't come out wondering will God heal me? Will God touch me? Yes, He will. Yes, He will. Hallelujah. Pastor Williams, Pastor Jakes, can we quickly minister to them? Please, as hands come, worship Him. Just lead us powerful songs of worship. Hallelujah. As we pray for them, those of you who are seated, just keep praying in tongues. We'll pray for them quickly and then we'll minister. I want God to touch everybody this night. Hallelujah. I want God to touch everybody. I pray that God will give us time. Hallelujah. If there is time, by the grace of God, we'll lay hands on everybody. Everybody. Hallelujah. We're just praying that we'll be able to do this quickly. Hallelujah. Worship team. Savior, He can move the mountain. Thank you, Father. Let your power move as we pray for your people. In the name of Jesus Christ, go ahead. As we pray for you, please go back to your seat. Pastor Jesus. Okay. As we pray for you, just, you don't need to tell us what is wrong with you. As we pray for you, just trust the power of God to touch you. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, He can move the mountain. My God, my God is mighty to save. He's mighty, He is mighty to save. Altar of salvation forever, and altar of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. He can move the mountain. My God, my God is mighty to save. He is mighty, he is mighty to save. Author of salvation, author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Conquer the grave. Conquer the grave. my blood sister this thing has made me angry this is my blood sister blood of my blood bone of my bones that devil is a bastard this night this is my own blood sister same father same mother right now in the mighty name of Jesus let my sister this is my mother's baby bone of her bone flesh of her flesh In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of sickness. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her. Forever. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No sickness die for go. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If I do not fall sick, my sister will not fall sick. In the name of Jesus Christ perfection everything wrong with you be healed now hallelujah sorry i took it personal the thing pain me hallelujah praise the lord let's continue hallelujah please if you are holding a picture just lift it up and we'll pray on it lift it up and we'll pray on it praise god if you are holding someone's picture just lift it up we'll have the time when we pray on pictures Hallelujah. It's raining. It's raining. As you go back, make sure you check yourself. Miracles are happening. It's raining. What's wrong with you? It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> I feel the wind 
I bring you liberty in the name of Jesus.
this way. I want you specifically, you can come and stand. It doesn't mean you have it. We want to cancel HIV now. There's nothing to feel. Hallelujah. Whether for yourself or for your loved one, doesn't mean you have HIV. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please don't be impulsive. HIV is a killer disease. <laughs> Have it come out. It's better to come out than to die. That devil is a liar. Bring her up here. Bring her up. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. HIV. How many of you know HIV is a killer disease? How many of you know that HIV is from the pit of hell? Hallelujah. And how many of you know that HIV is reversible? This is what we are going to do right now. Worship team, powerfully, that song, miracles everywhere. Hallelujah. As we pray for HIV, please believe it. Believe it for yourself and for any other person that you are standing for. As you are praying right now, some of you, when we pray for you, you need to call them and tell them this is it.
give us a shout of praise. Hallelujah. 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 Did you bring your prayer request? Do you have your prayer request? Please bring them out and pass it. Hallelujah. Ushers, coordinate them quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to know mighty miracles are happening in this place. Mighty, mighty miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mighty miracles are happening. Now, this is what will happen. Pastor Jakes will come up, just, just um, minister for a few minutes. While he's doing that, I'll just take a few minutes break. When I come up, we're going to pray on the request. But we are going to take a few testimonies right now. Hallelujah. Now, please check yourself inside and outside. If you see that there is a notable healing, notable miracle, especially for those of you who were delivered. Hallelujah. Notable something left you, a chain broke. God, open your eyes to see something. How do we do it now? Uh, just go to the back. Go to the back. Hallelujah. When Pastor Jakes is done, he will meet you there. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, pass your prayer request quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen to me. While the apostle was ministering to those, the women with the, the burying cases. Now listen to me. One of you, three of you, this is what I saw, kind of babies you were carrying. Hallelujah. I saw the clothes the babies were wrapped in. They call it, is it turquoise blue? Is it turquoise blue? One was white, then the other was pink. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We did not discuss this before I came. Early on, while speaking to you, and I told you a woman will come giving a testimony of a baby. Are you following? Please. Pay attention to what the Lord is doing tonight. Hallelujah. First, because God will confirm his word and God will confirm the prophetic declarations of his servants. Hallelujah. I'll pray for some people right now. Please lift up your hands. The Lord communicated to me. The intention of Satan is to take away somebody's life during NYSE. Are you following? Just three days into NYSE. Hallelujah. And I began to weep. And I'll pray right now and the Lord will roll that thing away. Are you following what I'm saying? Please listen to me. I do not know who you are, but the Lord will locate you. Are you following? Whether it's your family member or whatever, that the hand of God will locate you. The devil is a bastard. Are you following what I'm saying? Satan is a bastard. How can somebody, God, the parents will train you to a point where you are supposed to bring blessing and suddenly the plan of Satan is to take away that life. Because people have projected from the village. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Father, we thank you. Please lift up your hands. Thank you, blessed Lord. <laughs> thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, blessed Lord. Mang Rikoto Panibong Rafi Ketalebraso Pratelia. Leon Jimbembrong Rate Kapota Virata Labara Baba Baba. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. That intention from the pit of hell. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you right now. In the name of Jesus, let the angels of God, <laughs> aha, let the angels of God locate you. Oshas, please take note. Mark Repong, Shiketa Viron, Vendelia Rababandaya, Rian Norobabella de la Bosana, Riata Pong, Rate Ketelia, Bakitong, Shiketa Piratose, B. 
I rebuke that hand of death. We roll away that spirit of death. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. Please still lift up your hands. The Lord will break chains. The Bible says, whatsoever he does, prospereth. The, works, the Lord is to bless the works of our hands. Chains tying people's hands down. The sword of the spirit will break through. And the Lord will release financial blessings. Please listen to me. Because some of you from now, please pay attention to what I'm saying. Checks will be written. Are you following? Financial blessings will come. I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying. Financial blessings will come to you. There are people that your family have been suffering. They've been trying. Your father has been working. But his, their hands are chained. Their hands are chained. And the fire of God will go through. Some of you will literally feel the fire of God in your hands. There are chains around your hands that will be broken right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Please just lift up your hands. Let the sword of God's spirit go. Let chains be broken right now. Let chains be broken. Even outside. Let chains be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Let the chains be broken right this moment. Let chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains, chains. Chains holding your businesses down. Your father's prosperity, your family's prosperity, the works of your hands. Let the blessings of God come upon it right now. In the name of Jesus. Barrio Rapidon Rapidon Zepregila Lingon Rapigata Chakraton Rebalooske Baliro Koto Baralana Bakate Gosu Paragale Bosha Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Jesus. Please, those of you with chest conditions, the Lord wants to touch you now. Are you following? Those of you with chest conditions, thank you, Lord. Please just lay your hands on your chest. Chest conditions around your heart, your lungs. Please just lay your hands. I sense the Lord touching you there right now. Just lay your hands on your chest. Blessed Lord. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you will feel a warmth. A warmth around your chest region. The Lord will be touching you right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Let healing come to you right now. You will feel a release. You sense a release right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that chest condition. Let it go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. Let it go right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That devil holding your chest, I command a release right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just before I hand the mic over, the Lord communicates to me about these people. The Lord wants to grant you wings of ego. I hear what I'm saying? Wings of ego. It's for some people, it's not everybody I'm talking to. Wings of, of, of ego. The Bible says, mount up with wings as ego to come as grace in the spirit wings of ego you're so high you're so high in the spirit <laughs> please lift up your hand I'm telling you the Lord will 
Grant you wings of ego. Thank you, blessed Lord. Holy Spirit, let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God rest upon them. Let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God right now as I speak in the name of Jesus for those people blessed one ha blessed one for those people my God let the hand of God come upon you rando koshi pratila let the hand of God come upon you the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you the hand of God comes upon you Oshas help me find those people the hand of God comes upon you. Just bring them to the right here. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God, of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Just bring them to the right here. Bring them to the right. Wings to mount up. Wings as eagles to mount up. Wings. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you now. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you right now. Rate poto farita bo liberosi ila raba hastu pirati landa bakia ko shikse subra nende man shakila bo jale. My dear, you will not recover. Are you hearing? You will not recover because you begin to have experiences, dangerous experiences. Bariro si preti le brendo prati kado branira dinazingo si preti la. Help me find that guy and that lady outside I spoke about. Liro su preti la dando rosike to branira kata diraranando sing radiata. of Looking at my cute baby, this lady was participating powerfully. Hallelujah! Praise God! Now we are going to pray. I hope we have all the requests. Who has not written? Please, one minute quickly, just write quickly and come and drop it. God answers prayers in this place. Mighty prayers. There's still a lot to do. God is blessing people. There are impartations going on. Don't wait until you come out. Hallelujah. All right, everybody stand. This is a very prophetic moment. Please stand. Online, I hope we are connecting. Prayer, all the prayer requests that have been submitted online. left we want to pray on the request right now hallelujah 
Every request in this place is turned to testimonies. Hallelujah. Please, those, even as we pray, there will be impartations. So those who are here, as much as possible, um, just relax so that you don't get up and then you collapse on the way. Hallelujah. Do we have any more prayer requests? Okay, let's give one more minute quickly. I see people rushing with their requests. Please, for all our miracle services, we pray on requests. This was an instruction that God gave us. We cannot meet every need. Those who are online, connect with us. Mighty testimonies have come up. Hallelujah. We've had barren women have triplets. We've had genotypes changed. We've had all kinds of unbelievable testimonies. Let's see how this episode will be right now. Praise God. Pastor, Pastor Williams. Please celebrate him as he comes. Pastor, James, we're going to pray. Pastor Williams is going to lead us through this prophetic session. All I need you to do is stretch your hands and say amen when it's time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us spread over 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 this request to over by our Satalaba. We can't keep on being a labado shitaba. We push it and we do shitaba. Let us be miracles. Let us be breakthroughs. Let us be breakthroughs. Let the impossible become possible. We can't pass our shitaba. Miracle jobs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Ghost. Shitaba, shitaba. Let doors open. Let doors. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let there be possibility. Let the possible become possible. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of our Lord Jesus, in the name of our Lord Jesus, let the man and woman conceive and rejoice. In the name of our Lord Jesus, let there be creativity. In the name of our Lord Jesus, like a Oh, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the finger of the Most High, by your power, oh God, by the greatness of that power, let the enemy submit by the blood of Jesus, let submit by the blood of Jesus, let submit by the blood of Jesus, let doors open for your people, let doors open even those who are online, let doors open in the name of Jesus, let them be miracles, miracles, testimonies, miracles, testimonies, miracles, let it happen now, miracles, let it be testimonies, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, let that which is impossible with no become possible now, 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 by the power of the Holy Ghost, thank you very God. Blessed be the name, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Every request here we declare in the name of Jesus, it is turned into testimonies now. It is turned into testimonies now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere right now before we enter the prophetic session. Oh, 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 oh. Miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere Right now Right now Miracles Miracles everywhere I see miracles Miracles everywhere We need miracles Miracles everywhere
Lord is going to do mighty things right now in this place. It's another dimension of the mighty things that you'll be doing. Hallelujah. Please, brothers and sisters, listen. God will not bring you to this place to waste your time. I told you all you need to do is to believe. All you need to do is to believe. Hallelujah. We are going to begin to decree and the power of God will move in another dimension in this place. Please, I'd like you to believe. I want you to shout amen. I want you to believe. It's time for breakthrough. It's time for the limitations that tie people maritally, job-wise. It's time for it to bow. It's time for yokes to be destroyed. And we'll also pray that there will be impartation. Some of you came to take fresh grace. Some of you have exhausted certain spiritual levels. Some doors have just refused to open. You have fasted, you have prayed. We have come tonight by the grace of God to supply grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. Prophetic words are very, very powerful. Hallelujah. It's not about speaking. It's about creating. Hallelujah. The prophetic word of God does not just reveal your problem. You already know what the problem is. But creating solution. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Oh, that you will believe, brothers and sisters. That you will believe. That you will believe. Last miracle service, a lady had two pressing requests. One of it was to get a life partner. For her, it was becoming a serious issue. The second was to get a job. I sent the leaders the text. The very next day, after Friday like this, the next day, somebody that has been playing around has not been serious today he's here tomorrow is there the very next day this brother just came and said look i'm ready to be serious we're going to get married and that listen listen don't clap yet the that same saturday she got a text that on the next wednesday she should come for an interview that one is not just a miracle that's what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes began to speak about finances. We are going to pray for that. And for other issues. Are you ready to receive for your loved ones? Lift up your hands. It does wonders in our midst. I started seeing this since Tuesday. I saw a big padlock bigger than this building and it was closed and I don't assume explanations when the Lord has not told me what it is hallelujah even till I came here God did not tell me anything about it and when I sat down while past, I mean while I was standing there Pastor Jakes was ministering and the Holy Spirit told me to open the doors of prison to them that are bound to open the doors of prison to them that are bound thank you jesus Now in the name of Jesus, every tied down marital destiny, every lady that is due for marriage, every brother that is due for marriage, and nothing is happening, this night I command that door be open. Be open now. Doors of marriage be open now. 
I call forth your life partner into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it now. Every marital chain over your life, I open it and I break that chain now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For all those trusting God for job, you have applied and applied, you have done everything you know to do. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, doors of jobs scattered around this nation and beyond, I compel you in the name that is above all names, open now, open now, open now. Federal government jobs, oil company jobs, bank jobs, in the name of Jesus. I release it to your life. I release it to your life. Where you do not have helpers, may my God step in for you. May God step in for you. May God step in for you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every family here that has begun a building project and has not been able to complete it for whatever reason, right now, I compel that project to be completed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every power that holds that project I challenge you in the name that is above all names. Let God's people finish what they have started in the name of Jesus. Every academic issue in this place. Whether admission issue, whether graduation issue, whether whatever issue, service issue, in the name that is above all names, I pray right now for every academic darkness, let there be light now. 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 For those that the devil has tied down and has said you will not finish, whether it's your undergraduate, whether your masters, whether your PhD, whatever, I command the doors of, of graduation to be open for you now. Whatever cost needs to be waived, we waive it now. We waive it now. We waive it now. Whoever has vowed that you will not graduate this night, we compel them to let you go. And for those who have been trusting God for service, you are finished. The name will come out, your name will not be there. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray right now. May God move in a way no man can explain. And may you be mobilized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for every family that has, has tried to move forward. There are families that are tied down, not as individuals, as a family. It will keep working for others, but when it gets to your turn, it stops. Tonight, in the name that is above all names, whatever has not been working in your family, we move it now in the name of Jesus. Whatever mountain, we challenge it. Rekata, so sote, 
Masoto Bariata. I challenge it. I challenge it. I challenge that mountain in the name of Jesus. Say Kabalata Kabalata. Hallelujah. Every spirit that is responsible for fight and quarrels in the house. Some of you, your parents are under yokes you cannot understand. It's not their fault, but tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every power upon your family members that will not bring peace at home, I curse it to his root in the name of Jesus. I curse it to its root in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty things are happening in this place. Hallelujah. I want to pray and break the curse of poverty. There are some families, it doesn't matter how much they give you. Something will eat it up. You buy a car to have accident. You build a house, rain will wash it. Right now I pray that any covenant of poverty that was entered in Rakata Bosota Repo Shotala on behalf of your family. I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Now, 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 now. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm still going to pray that the power of God is going to move upon some people in a mighty way. Because this poverty in families must be broken. People have gotten into prostitution because of it. There are people who think you are lazy. They do not know that there are forces behind. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Lift your hands. I will first pray for you, 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 before your family. Forget about your family for one minute. And pray for yourself. If you don't need it, just put down your hands. But if you are tired at where you are, and you are saying, Lord, I'm not too young to be blessed. Lift your hands. When I count three, shout the name of Jesus, the power of God. Man, it will fall like fire. That cause, my God, I pray that that yoke of poverty will be lifted. Are you ready now? One, two, three. We cause it, we cause it, we cause it, we cause it. We cause it. Poverty dies now, now, now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very dangerous prayer for you right now. Remember the teaching I did on activating breakthroughs. The ministry of destiny help us hear me there are many of you where you are now you have the gift you have the skill you just need those who need what you have you have it you just need somebody hear me the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah many of you after this meeting i tell you on that god they will send for you. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. Whoever across this globe called earth has been destined to locate you and honor the grace upon your life, wherever they are, except God is not God in this place. I pray tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost, I call them into your life. Receive their ministry. Receive your ministry. Receive your ministry. Destiny help us. Wherever you are, 
in the name of the Lord Jesus, wherever you are from this night, through phone calls, emails, supernatural coincidences, connect to them, connect to them, connect to them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray against the plague of death. 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 Lift your hands for you and your loved ones. Hear me. The Bible says, with long life, it didn't say, will I give you? It said, will I satisfy you? You are supposed to be satisfied with it. Hallelujah. And no devil should cut short your life. I want to pray for you now. Every plague of death over any life here or over any family by the power of the blood be lifted now in the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Listen. Do you know why the psalmist prayed a very powerful prayer? He said, you are my glory and the lifter up of my head. That means something lifted it down. So that those that will see it and bless it cannot see it. I pray for you. Whatever has put your head down. So that nobody will bless you. This night. According to the prayer of the psalmist, lay your hands on your head. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray whatever has put you down, I prophesy, arise, 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 shake it, shake it, my brother, brother, sir, arise. Hallelujah. Keep your hands up, please. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, It shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. He said, Whatsoever he does, prospers. Lift those hands. Every curse that the devil wants to put upon your hands, there are some of you, Anything that touches your hand fails. No matter what it is from tonight, that yoke comes to an end in the name of Jesus. That yoke comes to an end in the name of Jesus. That yoke comes to an end in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray against habits. Look at me. There are people dying of all kinds of habits, from all kinds of lust to all kinds of things. Are you getting what I'm saying? This is what gives Satan access into the lives of many people. Doesn't matter how they pray for you. Doesn't matter how they, they deliver you. You will find yourself, Paul said, that the things that I want to do, I do not find myself doing them. He said, and the things that I don't want to do, that's what I find myself doing it. He said, with my spirit, I serve the Lord. But in my body, I see another law working in my members. And he said, oh wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? I want to pray for you. Take this prayer very seriously. Because many of us, after all the prayers and the deliverances, we keep opening doors. I want to pray for you. It takes grace. It's not about struggle. Listen. Say, look at me. If you want to use willpower to say, I want to force myself not to sleep with this sister, you are joking. Except you are not a man that God created. Many people have tried to use force this is where grace comes in you see grace 
is a powerful ability of the spirit it makes you extraordinary that's why some people don't believe that there are people who can walk in holiness they say it's impossible did you know that wicked spirits are behind these promptings you see a matured man who go and carry a little girl like this one this baby huh the baby that he can give birth to how many times and then still want to molest it's not normal brothers and sisters or pornography once you see free internet your body is shaking no it's not normal either the victory of jesus christ is a lie or there is something wrong we want to settle that issue tonight lift your hands in the name of jesus christ every fleshly desire that although you love god you are seeing another law whatever power that sponsors this operation of lust and immorality i curse you to your root in the name of jesus i curse you to your root in the name of jesus i curse you to your root in the name of jesus I release you from every kind of habit you have been praying about. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and men there are many of us there is nothing like favor in your life when you hear people talk about favor you just keep clapping for them but the sincere truth is that you don't have that testimony somebody can come and meet you come somebody can meet you and say take me to sister a's house you will escort them they will go and bring sister a and leave you it's not so favor is the sign that the presence of god is with you and if you truly have the presence of god something a signature somebody should just like you and bless you lift your hands let me pray for you if you have not been shouting amen this is a place to shout and amen and receive i pray let the oil of favor may it mantle your life now in the name of jesus 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 favor 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 i'm going to pray that prayer one more time many of you do not know that one day of favor can end some wicked struggles in your life are you hearing what i'm saying favor somebody called a man of god and told him he says sir for the rest of your life i want to be giving you allowance for food forever what kind of what kind of thing is that and this is somebody that is blessed hallelujah a lady walked up to me some months ago and said every month i will be bringing cake for you every month she brings cake for me every month there are people that send me recharge card every month as as a covenant between them and god there are people that say every month i'm sowing it no matter what it is see god can bring somebody who will like you no strings attached they are just compelled by god to bless you may those kind of people find you after this night may those kind of people find you hallelujah hallelujah listen let me share with you a true story and it's the story of somebody i know this guy was trusting god for a breakthrough in his life things had gone so bad are you getting what i'm saying 
and he just went to abuja when he went to abuja he just met his friends hear me the friends told him just follow me and he followed them sheepishly only to go and find out that they were they were trying to negotiate a land how much was the land 720 million naira and the agents will get 10 percent 72 million and they, with him they became four he thought he was dreaming when they gave them they said you you followed us you have something this guy became a millionaire overnight see i don't believe in laziness but there is so much your hard work can do lift your hands one more time i pray for you where you are struggled where you are running may the favor of god pick you in the name of jesus may the favor of god pick you hallelujah 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 I want to pray one more prayer. Hallelujah. The Lord was ministering to me about something, so I was just waiting to be sure. Now I'm going to pray for you. This is the last prayer point. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of you do not know that the biggest secret of being successful in life is to carry the fire of the Lord upon your life. Hallelujah. The sincere truth is there are many of us who love breakthrough. We love miracles. But this passion for God is not there. We can run to God and come and make promises. Oh God, I will do X, Y, Z. But except your heart is with God, blessings will kill you. Are you getting what I'm saying? There are many of us, the day you see one million in your account with your eyes, that day you will tell God, wait, till the day the devil whips you and whips everything away, you will remember God again. I want to pray. For me, I consider this to be the biggest part of this meeting. And it's an impartation. I want to release grace and fresh fire. Please stand up, everybody. Let's honor this prayer request. This is why some of you came, especially some of you who are pastors or in ministry. You cannot afford to do ministry in a powerless way. You will struggle for nothing. It's what will make you angry with people. And it's what will lead you to go and start dipping your hands into ungodly things because you are looking for power. There are pastors now running helter skelter, going everywhere because they want power for signs and wonders and god can give it freely our goal in this place hear me i've said it again and again is not for us to have some superstar men of god trying to help some people no is to empower you and release you to go and do the works hallelujah there are some of you that have been praying and say lord will you put an anointing upon my life that will cause my generation to hear my voice there are many of you who have been praying and saying, Lord, my prayer life is dead. There is even nothing there again. There are some of you, your word life is dead. The last time you read your Bible was during Koinonia last week. I'm going to pray for you. There will be an impartation. And I'm going to release spiritual gifts. Paul said, I desire to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift." This thing is not about struggling. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it's not there. Period. I'm wearing a suit. I cannot assume I'm wearing a suit. I'm not wearing a kaftan. No matter how I pull this suit down, it's not a kaftan. Brothers and sisters, I see the way many people behave over anointing. This is not how God trained us. When you catch it, you know you have it. Paul said, such as I have. This struggle that people do, it is not there. Period. I 
I don't want you to have a struggling Christian life that will make you to start lying bringing prophecies that are not of God misleading people into things that God did not say because you are under pressure to show that you have power you lay hands on people they are not healed you force them to say they are healed brother if that healing power is there it will show you don't need to tell people i have it people are not blind they are not stupid they know when authentic power is there there are ministers that are struggling struggling arrogantly and they will not know there is an easy path in the spirit today i want to pray for you if you will believe that something will come upon your life it's not enough to see the things that happen here these things are available if you are really interested lift your hands i want to pray for you from the depth of my heart you are a pastor you are an evangelist you are an apostle you are a prophet you are a ministry or you just have a passion for god and your christian life has died fire is coming upon you lift your hands just keep your hands lifted Jesus, let a fire of impartation. Your people need fire. They need power in their life. Right now at the count of three, there will be a release of mighty impartations. After the count of three, I'd like you to shout out this in goodness. The power of God will move in a mighty way. I will release it from the depths of my heart. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Ba 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 sheka la bariara. Sheke te 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 te. Receive it. Fire altars coming alive. Shake ta 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 Prayer altars coming alive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Fresh power. Fresh fire. Let it come like a mantle upon your life inside and outside. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Lift your hands as I begin to release the gifts of the Spirit. Whichever it is that is for you, it will hit you where you are right now. Let the gift of wisdom, my God, upon as many. Just a symbol. Take it now. Take it now. The gift of wisdom. The word of knowledge. Receive it like fire. Take it. Take it. The gift of healing. In the name of Jesus. Let the healing anointing fall. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Healing fire. Healing fire. So toto kaba. Rekete nekata. Ta proto shota balarara. Let the gift of prophecy. I command prophetic fountains at the count of three be open. One, two, three. Take, 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 take. Take it right now. Prophetic fire. Prophetic fire. Shake it, take 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 it, take
dimensions of spiritual experiences. Gift of tongues, receive it. Interpretation of tongues, the working of miracles, the working of miracles, the mantle to move powerfully in the miraculous. You will raise wheelchairs, blind eyes will be open, deaf ears will be open. Take it now. Take it now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. For those of you in business or all kinds of entrepreneurial things, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that anointing that was upon Joseph that made him do supernatural things, I pray right now, may that anointing upon as many who are in business, they're in entrepreneurship and are kingdom financiers. Right now, let it fall upon you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every request that you came here with, whatever made you to leave your house, and come here tonight whether it has been mentioned or not i lift up my hands and in the name that is above all names we turn that request into a testimony we turn that request into a testimony It will never be the same again. I want to give you an opportunity right now to make it right with Jesus. Keep standing inside and outside. Please everybody listen to me. No distraction. I want to give you an opportunity right now. Of all of the mighty things that God has done in this place, the greatest of all miracles, please keep standing, is the salvation of your soul. And I know there are people here who have never made it right with God. You've always wanted to. But you've not seen any reason. Some of you outside belong to this category. And right now, I'm going to make an altar call. Some of you have given your heart to the Lord. But sincerely, you have derailed from the things of God. It's time to make it right tonight. All of these miracles are a demonstration of the love of God and I do not want you to miss this opportunity I'm going to count one to five wherever you are the Holy Ghost is already speaking to you the Bible says as many as will come to him he will in no wise cast away it's time for you to begin a journey that will make your life count in this life and secure your, your eternity with Christ Therefore, wherever you are, it's my pleasure to invite you right now. Inside and outside, don't wait for anybody to come. You are the first to come. As I begin to count, please leave your seat. One, God bless you. Hurry up, rush, come out. As though it's a matter of life and death, because it is. Two, please hurry up. Don't let anybody stop you. Let them see you. It's better for them to see you. And you make heaven three. Koinonia celebrate them. They are coming. Encourage them. As many from outside. Don't let anybody stop you. Four. Just one more count and we are done. Jesus is inviting you. An end to your struggles. You have tried. You have done your best. You have done all you know to do. It says come on to me. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him 
that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.